Okay, and uh, it's Comp 1011, and uh, it's Advanced Object-Oriented Programming with Java. And uh, it's week four, lesson four, part one. And we're talking about their new assignment, assignment number two, which I'm going to put out there uh, today. It should be on Blackboard, uh, if you check Blackboard. It's called the Superhero Class, right? So you, you did the, uh, the Hero Class for this assignment, assignment number one. I'm going to ask you to do the superhero class for assignment number two, and um, it's due next Friday uh, before midnight. Okay, now this is a good thing because it gives you a space between the two assignments, uh, you know, to practice object oriented programming with Java, get you guys nice and comfortable with my, uh, the way we do stuff, right? When I look at things like, uh, um, you know, the way I do set up classes and stuff like that. And then, when, as we go forward, there might be a set up this class, it's part of your assignment, whatever it's going to be, plus do this stuff with, uh, in, a, in a UI, because we're going to try and hit, if we can today, uh, kind of intro to UI, if we can, okay? We're not going to cover all of it, it's 230 slides, there's no way 230 slides I'm going to be doing with you today. So what we may do, again, over the next week or so, is break it up a little bit, because... Um, I want to be able. I want to have a chance to kind of, uh, you know, uh, kind of do these two things uh, step by step with you. Okay. Number one. Two. Number two. Um, next week, what I'm planning is a short quiz. Let me say that again. I'm planning a short quiz, right, for you guys. Should be about an hour or so long, right, um, in the sp in your class time. Right, so uh, I'm thinking it'll probably start right at the beginning of class if I can get it done, um, and then we'll la it'll last for about an hour, an hour and a bit, and then we'll do a little bit of, of teaching stuff. Um, again, there's a couple ways I can do it. In the past, I've done it so that it's uh, your quiz is happening at the end, and then people get mad at me because they're like, I ran out of time. I could have done better. Right? Thank you, sir. Um, so I don't want uh, I don't want that to happen. So that'll be a little quiz that we do. Uh, here now, there's going to be a piece of the quiz, and I'm thinking about this. There might be a piece of the quiz that I get you to do remotely. Like actually, I send it back to you. It's almost like a little assignment. You fill it out, and then you come back, right? Now you might say, "But Tom, I can cheat, right?" Yes, you can. You'll probably be able to cheat on the quiz, right? But I'll give you some parts of it. There'll be a practical part and a piece, a part with multiple choice, uh, like we did before, and. Um, multiple choice, some of them will be the ones you've seen before, these questions. Other questions from the multiple choice will be new ones you've never seen before, and some other additional true and false questions and so on. It'll cover things we've covered up until today, so uh, not including the UI stuff. So I'm not going to test you on UI next week. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test you on uh, uh, object-oriented programming again, like a review of that, and inheritance, right? So stuff we talked about, abstract classes, we talked about uh, uh, implementing um, interfaces and those kind of things. Those are the things you'll be tested on. Uh, so study, please study chapter, um, if you're going to look at the book, uh, chapters 9 and 10. Those are the two chapters I'm covering. Uh, and a bit of chapter 3, if I'm not wrong, from the book. Uh, because that was the, the, the chapter uh, from the original book on object-oriented programming. So those are the chapters 3, 9, and 10. Uh, today, we would have been covering chapter 11, but I'm skipping that chapter and I'm going to chapter 12 because I'm not covering every single chapter in the book. Okay, but let's go back to this assignment. So, uh, assignment number two, uh, the superhero class. Let's take a look at it. It looks like the hero class that we did, right, uh, for your assignment, number one, except it has a, the, this, uh, the, it's going to derive itself, or the super class is going to be the hero class. So you're, when you finish assignment number one, you're going to use that class and include it, almost like build on assignment number one, to make assignment number two, right? So assignment number two will be your, your, uh, uh, your superhero class, and it'll be a derivative of, or a subclass of the hero class, okay? If it makes sense. Um, you're going to have some instance variables. Um, one of them is going to be a superpowers instance variable. It's going to be a string array, okay? A string array. Now, you guys have done arrays last semester, if I'm not wrong, or the time, you, I don't know if it was last semester, but the semester prior, when you guys did uh, object-oriented programming one, right? Or um, 
intro to Java or whatever it was you did with Andrew, if I'm not wrong. Correct? Okay, so you should know, because Andrew made you guys experts, right, in uh, string manipulation and arrays, right? So, yeah, so there should be no issues with that. If there are, we can talk about these things uh, as we go forward, right? Um, so superpowers is going to be your string array, and you're also going to have a constructor signature that's going to be identical to the hero class. So you're not going to change the constructor signature for the hero class. It's going to be the same. Uh, the superhero class will be the same as the hero class. The methods you're going to have uh, generate random powers, right? That's going to be one method. And you're going to have another one that says show powers. Okay, so two new methods that are not included in the hero superclass. You're going to have in the super in, in the superhero. It's funny. I said it's like I'm actually it's it's a it's kind of a play on words, right? The hero superclass and the superhero subclass, right? Which is what it is, right? Or or, or child class. Um, Generate random powers and show powers, the new methods that are part of the new class you're going to create. Okay, let's take a look and see what this does. So the superhero class must include the following properties and methods. A, private properties, superpowers, all right, two marks, a string array. Uh, B, the constructor method you should take the same parameters, uh, I should say parameters, not parameter, parameters, as the, uh, oh yeah, Tom, good, good job as the uh, hero superclass from assignment one and call the superclass constructor, right? So think about the superclass constructor, how you call that. You're going to call that in addition to, just like we showed you uh, last week, in addition to the constructor of the, of the superhero class. It will also call the generate random powers method. So the actual constructor for the superhero class will call this other method, right? The generate random powers method is a private method, so it cannot, it will, will not be accessible outside of uh, of this class, and it'll randomly generate three random superpowers from the following list of six powers, and here's the here's the list: super speed, super strength, body armor, flight, fire generation, and weather control. Right now, these are just powers that the hero, the superhero, will have. You can add to this list or modify it. So you don't. You can make your superhero have uh, different powers or an access access to a bunch of other powers, right? Uh, but the one I'm asking for, this is the the regular list, and I only want three powers from this list or the list you create. But the list has to be the powers you get have to be unique. Okay. In other words, they cannot be the same. I can't choose two body armors. That doesn't make any sense. Or two super speeds or two super strengths. I only can choose one of each of the super of each of the powers in the list. So you got to figure out the code for that. How do I do that so I only get three unique choices? You may have to do some conditional statements there or some other kind of structure to do that, right? Um, hint: create a loop that picks from the power list three times. Okay, that makes sense. Some kind of loop, and make sure the resulting superpowers array does not contain any duplicate powers, right? Okay, and then take that and assign that to the superpowers array. So take your 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 kind of uh, your powers, whatever they are, uh, choose three, and then assign them to the array. Okay, cool. A public show powers method that will display the hero superpowers to the console, which means he'll have to get he have to go to the superpowers array and actually display each of them. So maybe do some kind of loop to display each of the uh, uh, superpowers. In your main method of the, of the program itself, right? Implement the super superhero class by creating a new superhero object. Have the hero call the show powers method. So this, the new superhero. It's actually you should say uh, uh, call add the superhero. <laughs> uh, call the show powers method to display a list of her powers. I say her because we always say he, right? So we want to be fair to the, you know, the opposite gender. And there is actually a, a, a girl that's uh, she's watching her videos and she's actually part of our course. Just as an attempt. Okay, so um, have the super call a super a superhero call the superpowers a show powers method to display a list of her superpowers, and then have the hero call the fight method inherited from the um, the hero uh, superclass, right? And then please ensure to test your output thoroughly. And what I mean by that is make sure that when you generate these powers. Check your random number generator. Check to see because one of the biggest problems with random number generators is that they display the same amount, the same result over and over again. So if you're getting the same result over and over again, something's not right with your random number generator. We want to fix that now 
uh, before we move into more uh, challenging things we're going to do in the future. Okay? So that's really it in a nutshell, and the rest is the same. Include internal documentation and, and share, of course, your files on GitHub. All right? So those are the two things that we want to do. Any, uh, any questions around this? Again, 5% of your marks, uh, it's divided into 25 small and little marks, so 25 little points that I'll be looking at um, that, you know, to see if you've kind of done the right job. And I'm going to be analyzing your code. It's all about code ana analysis for us right now. Let me see how you're coding. Let me see how you're, if you're doing the right job, right? If you don't know code, right, we can't proceed. So I'm gonna, I mean, and this is the funny thing. When I go, we do it in the, on the website, in the web class that we're doing together, right? Um, I'm not going to analyze your code to the same depth that I do here, right? Why? Because here, the output is really, really super important. On the website, um, there's many, many different ways to do the same thing. And so I'm going to analyze it, but I'm not going to sit there and nitpick. Like, I don't need it to look a certain way. And also, Visual Studio will nicely set it up for you anyway, right? Here, there's more flexibility in how you can do this kind of stuff. But I'm looking for efficiencies. When I look at this one and the one before, this assignment number one and assignment number two, I'm looking for how do you create the efficiencies here to make your, cl your, your, uh, um, your class go? Like what kind of structures are you using within your class, right? Like for example, if I think about, um, just to, to finish off with assignment number two, if I think about how I'm going to do, uh, how can I choose these three random powers from the list? Can somebody suggest something other than just a simple loop? Anybody? Is there another way you could do it other than just a loop, yeah. Switch. Switch would. What are you switching though? Because you're going to switch one one thing. You're going to switch the superpowers array. Well, no, you have it. Or as the a, list. Yeah, you have it as a case setup. Okay. And then. Are you going to be rolling the dice kind of thing and switching the dice? Like so. So in other words, when I say switch the dice, I mean like comparing the dice results and then picking your power from there. Yeah, that's pretty switch. Is you roll the dice of one to six, and then you pick the. You could. Corresponding. What other things you can do? Could use an array with all the powers inside it, generate three random values, and grab those values from the array. You could. You could. To grab the val I like to grab your values from the array. But that means that, what if the values are the same? What if, what if I random, randomly roll the dice? There's yes. a couple ways to do that. How do you handle the same value hitting twice? Um, you just do a, a, a what? A hash set. A hash map? Hash set? Okay, you could do that. And what, what were you saying? You could choose. You can say if it's taken, then. Uh, so what? You could maybe mark the, the each of them, like maybe some kind of flag yeah. that you put on each of the uh, each of the uh, the items, right? And say, well, this is chosen, so you can't choose it. If it's flag, if it's flagged, roll again. Or you can actually and pop it out of the array. Popping it out of the array is what I like. That is a great idea. So hint, hint. That is probably the best solution right there. So you want you want to do. Is, now, it's not that the command is not pop. What's the command to pop an item out of the array? It's not slice. Slice would be the command from JavaScript. What would be the right command in Java? Remove, remove is the right command. Remove is the right. If you can use the remove command, so you make a, an array, and what you do is you generate this array one time. So you set it up one time. So maybe you make a, a smaller method that I haven't asked you for, right? Remember, these are the bare minimums that I've asked you for, right? And you make an array, and the array itself is, you go through it, and you say, okay, I, first of all, I have to set up my list somehow. Now, you can list your array as a list, comma, comma, separated list. You could do that if you wanted to at the top of your file, right? So when you first um, instantiate your object, your superhero object, this array is created, as an example. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just brainstorming here with you guys, right? And then from there, once you've instantiated it, you, when you generate your random uh, powers, your three random powers, you remove you remove that power out of the array and store it in a temporary array that you're going to create and return it when you generate your powers return it back to the superhero or superpowers array right and then you have three unique values because you can only get a value that's in the array and when you loop of course you're going to make sure that the the loop you're using is is going to be based on the length of the current array the current length of the array so if the array drops down by one now you're looping with one less and one less and one less and so that you're not you're not going to hit a, um, um, uh, a member that's not there anymore. So if you use a fixed number, like let's say, for example, you have six powers, and I remove one, and you're looping six times. Well, now, now you might hit a number that you don't want to loop, right? Or you want to hit. Anyways, 
so there's, there's, there's different ways of doing this. There's different um, structures. I want to post the solution set for assignment number one, if I can, either next week or the week after. So we'll do the solution set together and say, hey, here's a solution set for assignment number one. So you know what, what I was expecting, right? And then we'll do the same thing for, for assignment number two, so you know how that looks, okay? And then hopefully what we'll do is for the first test, this little quiz we're going to do some point next week, right? Is I want you to study these chapters so that when we do an in-house little practical uh, test, it's easy. For you, it'll be easy for you to do, okay? So it's not something that's going to kill you, right? It's not meant for you guys to go, holy crap, I can't do this thing. I don't know what it means, and I don't know how to do this. I don't want that. It's not. It's not that kind of test. It's it's a little test to get you ready. It's probably going to be worth 10% of your mark. So both of these assignments put together, right? Why? Because it puts together these two things. It's almost like I'm getting you to do the assignments to prep you for the test. That's what it's really about. Okay, if you think about it that way. And then, of course, as we move towards exam time, midterm and, and whatever, you've already done this stuff. You've worked with it so much, right? Creating stuff with, uh, uh, with this and saving it to GitHub and all that stuff that there shouldn't be an issue. Now, I know some people have issues with GitHub, and we'll hit that next. Let me just, let me just stop recording right now.